Hey guys, so I got a PSA return today. I, this was the one I was hoping to get before the front row car show that happened a few weeks back. Uh, I literally came the day right after. I mean, not the day after, the Monday right after that weekend when I came back from Vegas. So nothing crazy was in there. I just wanted more inventory. First day did pretty well, sold pretty good, sold a lot of slabs, sold a lot of uh, Sword and Shield alternate arts. So that went really well. And then day two, it was kind of lacking on what I had for inventory. So I wasn't expecting to sell too much that day. Still did pretty well for what I had. Uh, you can probably hear the, my son's playing with his toys in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Let me scooch in here real quick, daddy. So I wanted to remind everybody that I have a couple of tickets for the front row car show that's on May 18th and 19th at Pasadena. So if you're local to SoCal, Thinking about one, uh, going to the card show, hit me up. I do have two free tickets for the show. It's a uh, VIP, so it's for the whole weekend. Monday, I mean Sunday and Saturday. VIP tickets. So if you're interested in them, hit me up. They're for free. All you gotta do is just hit me up on my, most likely social, I'll tag my, uh, my I'll leave my uh, Instagram in the description below. So if you wanna go to that show, Remember, May 18th and 19th in Pasadena. It's going to be a great show. Shout out and thank you to the showrunner for the Front Row Car Show, giving out some free tickets so we can give it to our viewers. And, uh, yeah, all you got to do is hit me up on my IG, and they're yours. But just for sure, if you're going to go to the show, so they won't go to waste. That's all. Now back to the regular video. Bye. So, yeah, it went pretty well. Great, great, great weekend. I can't, I can't uh, stress how much, how well those shows do for me. Great, uh, great environment. Great showrunners. Very friendly. Very, uh, everything just goes so well with those shows. Love doing them. They're actually having one in Seattle the same weekend as uh, Pokemon World. So I'm most likely not going to do that. Uh, shout out to the old car shop, Josh. He's actually going to have a table there for Seattle. Um, I think the next show actually is in May. Like within a few weeks, so I'm probably have this that for that show in Pasadena, like 15 away, 15 minutes away from me. So that's really, really good. Super close by. And then from that, it's June card party in Florida, and then Worlds in uh, hopefully Worlds in 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 Hawaii if everything goes well. Uh, did talk to the showrunners for the front row car show. There's there's trying to have one show every month for the rest of the year probably moving forward hopefully if everything goes well for them so most likely they will have a show in uh september october november december if everything plays well for them everything goes out well um so we'll see with that hopefully i can do some more probably uh, do a phoenix one because phoenix is not too far of a drive from probably five six hours from me so that one's not too bad uh shout out to zng emporium uh hopefully he even though i'm just joking around hopefully he does give me a room to sleep up with me in the old car shop. We have a sleep on the floor or anything, but I'm just joking. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's, I think, like two, three hours away from Phoenix, Arizona. I think he's, like, in the mountains somewhere in Flagstaff. In the middle of nowhere, you know, just being a hermit, making all that money like, uh, what that, Smaug? The, that dragon from uh, The Hobbit? Just hoarding all his money, just c counting each coin over and over again. Each coin. Uh, but let's get right into this uh, CSA return. Let's not take too much longer. Oh, wait. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna block out that uh, information. That's uh, my personal information. All right, let me see anything important. 50 items, 50 cards. So these are 50 cards, pretty much all Pokemon. But there is some, I think it's like two, one pieces of a buddy of mine and some Yu-Gi-Oh! There's another buddy of mine. And then like one, two, 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 three cards are another buddy of mine. So let's get into this, pull them out real quick. I'm not gonna do like the whole reveal thingy just because there's no spice in this one that I know of. Shouldn't be. And I'm pretty sure I didn't put like no cool altering arts. It's just like regular stuff that are easy to grade, people that like, people want. Always great to have at shows, which ones I'm hoping to have for front row that just happened this weekend. All right. There's four nice, good stacks. Let's just mix them around a bit. There we go. Let's get off. Let's start off with this so right here. You can see it's one piece. I do want to grade more one piece, hopefully, but I just don't know what cards to grade that are really worth it for people to want to buy 
maybe like unique stuff. I'm not sure. But I got to look more into that. But this is my buddy's. But I know One Piece and Dry has really great card quality. So hitting tens is not too hard. Let's see. Oh, nice. That One Piece um, Monkey D. Luffy. This is a super pre-release. I believe it's a promo. Really nice artwork. PSA 10. Really great. But you going to be happy with that grade. Then this is all. Uh, should be a Roar Nora Zoro alternate art. Really nice artwork. With the Gemmit 10 also. Look at that. Really nice texturing. Really nice artwork. If you're a fan of One Piece, these cards just look amazing. I'm a super big fan of One Piece. Actually, I was caught up from the beginning to current and like subbed. And then they, I think it was since when Crunchyroll and Funimation merged together. Now they pretty much, pretty much current into the dub. I probably like what, 50 episodes behind. So I decided to rewatch it from the beginning episode in dub in English all the way to which is current. I'm already right now. It's probably like a few months ago that I started. A few like four or five months ago. I'm in. I'm in the Wano arc, like the very beginning parts of it, when they're uh, when they first met Ot Otaka. Otama, I think it's Otama, something like that. I'm blanking out now. And then they're fighting uh, when they first meet each other back up in one and they're telling them the story about uh Odin. Really nice artwork. So pretty excited for that. Let's see, come on, let's go through this. Let's just try to speed run it. Radiant Charizard, PZ ten. It's a Charizard, it's shiny. Who doesn't want a shiny Charizard? Uh-huh. So like, even my son was excited for the shiny Charizard. You could just hear it here in the background. Like, yep, that's a shiny Charizard. We like Charizards and Rayquazas in this house. Especially shiny shiny ones. Ooh, nine. No bueno. A nine is no good. But it is what it is. Let's see what this one is. Give me a second. Alright, uh, so my son saw that we're looking at Pokemon cards. He wanted to join the party. Say hi. Lohan. So we got another shiny radiant Charizard from the Crown Zenith. Oh. Alright, so my son touching the phone right there. It's pretty good. So another 10. I'm trying to get more into grading multiple of the same car so I can have, you know, more than just one, not instead of ones, onesie, twosies. So let's see this other one. It's a, ooh, baby. Uh, Champion Pass Secret uh, Charizard VMAX. Really nice ho uh, holo pattern. Pretty nice rainbow card. PSA 10. Cannot go wrong with that. Good for the inventory. Let me see like this. All right, there you go. Put there. All right. Next card is, is this the Shining Face VMAX Charizard? Yes, it is. PSA 10. You'd love to see it. So you got the Charizard, the Shiny variant, and the Rainbow variant. Really nice cards. I always like getting a bunch of these. They always sell. They always do really well. All right, now we got some Japanese. These should be either the Ghastly, the new Ghastly AR, or the Magic Carp ARs. The Magic Carp PSA 10. Look at that. Beautiful. The Shinji Kanda with the Gyarados in the background. Uh huh. Yep. Way better uh, value for the Japanese. It's so much cheaper than the English. English is pretty expensive. Kind of hard to pull, and harder, way harder to grade compared to Japanese. All the ones I sent in Japanese, they all grade ten. So, still pretty cool. Just another Magic Card. Yep, another Magic Card PC ten. I did get some more. Picked up some more past couple of weeks to grade those. Oh, now this is the Gengar. This is a really nice artwork. You got ga a couple of Gasolies. You got Haunters and a few Gengars. Really nice artwork. Got the mouth hiding behind the box. Pretty scared. It's like a ghost parade. Really nice artwork. Can't complain it. I did send a couple. Let's see. This is another one. Yep. PSA 10. Alright. Probably another one. Yep. PSA 10. And probably the last one. Let me see. Is damage there? No. Then the last one is it should be another PSA 10. Nice, look at that beautiful artwork. Look at that, just really nice artwork. You got the moon in the back too, for those people who like moons in the card. I would've been so sick if I could get swirls in these ones, but they don't have galaxy hollows on these. So let's see, this one is a, 
So this is my buddies, a Snivy and Venus RGX Full Art, PSA 9, not too good. Let's see if we can, yeah, I think he submitted three cards with me. And this is the other one, my buddy's trying to, my little son trying to grab it. The Lunana, Salguleo, and uh, GX, we got Lily right there. And this should be, I think it was a Mag Mortar. Yeah, a Mag Mortar level X, Oof, PSA 7, not a great grade, but that's those are his. Put those to the side. All right, let's see. What else we got on chopping block? All right, I think this is what I think this is. So, I did submit, let me put the little holder thing down on this one. I'm pretty sure this is what it is. So, this should be the, the Shining Gyarados from Re New Revelation PSA uh, first edition. It is. So I did submit this a couple of times. This is actually the third time I submitted it. The first time I had it, it got the four. I like this. It's too good to be a four, a four. I cracked it out, did a video. It was actually, I think, my best video ever. I think it has like over 10,000 views. I cracked it out. And I cracked out. Like, it was a bunch of uh, cracked out uh, slabs that I resubmitted. And a few of them got the same exact grades. So I cracked it out and it actually came back as a four. I'm like, man, how does this a four? I understand. The front looks pretty clean. There's probably some scratches here and there. The the best, the worst part is the back. It has like whitening on the top, as you can see right there. Probably some whitening on the sides in here too. But nothing like no creases or real indents. So like this should be at least a six or a seven. Maybe I'm lucky. So this was the third time to charm. Cracked it out again. I did get I did get a lot of uh, smack talking on the, that video. People said, "Man, you cracking it out? Pay fifteen just to get the same exact grade." It is what it is. So third time to charm. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna probably keep on cracking it if it keeps getting low grades, three, fours, stuff like that. So let's see if it just, what it got this time. Ooh, PSA 6, not bad at all. I might keep it, I think this is worth a 6. A 4 was kind of ridiculous, but a 6, I think that's what it should have gotten. Like I said, there's no like heavy scratching, hardly any scratching in the front hollow, to be honest. And the back is, like I said, just uh, whitening on the, around the sides. Even my son's trying to get it. He said, like, that's a sh nice, shiny Pokemon. I want to hold it, too. Let him hold it for a bit. Let's see. Right there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. See that? Oh, yeah. You have it in your hands now. Yeah. See? He likes, that shiny. He likes shiny Pokemons, too. Good. Hold that, big man. Hold that, big man. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This is a good card, Daddy. Good card. All right. So let's put that to the side. Even though it's a low grade, it's still pretty good for what it is. Next card is a... Wow! Ooh, shiny, shining Rayquaza from Shining Legends. This one I actually graded it, and it came back as a nine. I like man, this card looks too clean to be a, a nine. I'm, you and my son wants to grab it again too. Let's see. I don't hold it. Yeah, he was like, "Yep, this is a good card, Daddy. We do collect uh, shiny Re Pokemon here, especially Rayquaza and Charizards. It's really just admiring. He's only like five months, so he probably just want to play with a toy." But yeah, I was like, this card looks too clean to be a 9. So let me crack it out again one more time to see what it gets. And sure enough, it got that 10. What I, sh I feel like it sh does deserve. There's no whitening on the back of the card that I can see. Really good, cent pretty good centering. So happy with that PSA 10. I'll keep that to the side with the Shining Gyarados. All right, we got a couple more stats to go. Ooh, the Lapras EX Spanish. I do want to get a Spanish EX Era card graded. This Sally got an eight. Maybe I'll try to crack it out and resubmit it or just give up on this one. This one got an eight. Let's see, put this to the side right now. I have space for the eight. What is this? What is this? What can this be? EVV Max, just a simple card. EV PSA 10. Sent a couple of those in. Another PSA 10. Let's see, let's see. Is this the third one? No. Oh, it is the third one, but it's a nine. So, so far we got two nines that I, from cards I knew were gonna, so like these I know they weren't gonna grade that well. So for my own personal submission, I only got two nines. Doing pretty well. Besides the six, but I knew that was gonna get a terrible grade. Pikachu VMAX from the uh, Celebration Collection box with the statue in it. That's a 10. And this one is, ooh, the Pikachu V from the same collection box with the statue. Right now, <clears throat> two stacks to go. I'm not sure how many cards in, in each one. Probably like ten. Probably like twenty more cards. But like I said, like probably like eight of these. 
the still in here on my buddies. Two of my buddies. Alright, here we go. We got a Ooh, Blastoise EX PSA 10 from 151. Can't go wrong with that. Looks really clean. Uh, mini whining. Maybe the smallest whining right there. White dot. But still it was worth a 10. Keep that to the side. Alright, this might be another car that I got it re they got regraded. Let me see. Let's check it out. No, so this is Zapdos EX. I just do it. Really clean copy, really beautiful artwork. You got Zapdos, Mojos, and Articles just flying in the air, like how legendary Pokemon should be depicted. Not just standing there. And got a nice PSA 10. So, which means is this card should be a card that did crack out also and regraded it. Check it out. No, oh, never mind. So, not this one. It's probably somewhere here then. Paldean Face for Shining Raichu, really nice. PSA 10. <clears throat> Alright, these are my buddy's cards. Let me see. Should be one, two, three, four, five, six cards. So six cards are Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's see. Oof, Night Reaper of the Nightmare Fusion card. PSA 6. Not good. Not good at all. You don't want to see that at all. Put that right there. This is a Dark Magician Knight, a PSA 9. This is a promo. Alright, here it goes. What is this? What is this? Let's a Korean Blue Eyes from the 20th, 20th anniversary pack. PSA 9. Dang, didn't get to 10. I think it's a little off center. Yeah, it's a little skinny in here. Let's not try and grab anything now. Alright, let's try to finish this up. Dark Magician. Oh man, PSA 9. Also a promo. Nice, beautiful card, just not the 10. Alright, let's see. Ooh, Cyber Prima. Prima. Ultimate PSA 9 first edition. Dang. Thought we got the 10. Last card. What is can it be? Judgment of the Pharaoh. The jump uh promo magazine. Magazine promo PSA 9. Dang. With a 10. The Pharaohs. Put that stack right there. We're almost done. Ooh. Charizard V from uh the Champions Path promo. I did sell a couple of those at uh, the car show over the weekend, so I want to try to get some more. Ooh, Raikou uh, from your Revelation, PC9. So that one got a terrible grade, but I wasn't expecting a high grade from that one. This should be another one. Ooh, the Houndom from Neo Revelation, PSA6. Beautiful artwork, though. Nice uh, swirl right there. The cusp of his mouth. What this card could this be? Is this the Zardy Boy? Yes, so I did crack this out. This is uh, this is actually I pulled two when the set was released, 151. I bought a couple of packs. It was one booster bundle and one uh was the po the poster bundle thingy that had three packs, so in total it was six packs. I mean, no nine packs. Cracked it open, recorded it. And from the boost, the, the little poster bundle, I pulled out one Zard. And then from the booster bundle, I pulled out another Zard. It's pretty crazy. Two Zards and nine packs. They looked pretty clean. They could get nines or tens. Like, you know what? Let me submit them both of them. One came back as an eight, and then one came back as a nine. I'm like, what? It didn't make sense. So I cracked them out, resubmitted the nine. They looked pretty clean. They resubmitted the nine, and it came back as a nine. Like, or was that the eight? Probably was the eight. It came back as a nine. I'm like, you know what? Let me send the other one by itself. I cracked the nine. Let's see what it got. Ooh, yeah, PSA 10. It's a pretty clean copy. It's probably like, like that one white dot at the edge, but other than that, it's a pretty clean copy. Gonna keep this for my personal collection. Hopefully the other one, once I crack it out for the nine, and it hopefully it gets the 10 again. If it, just, it gets the 10 like this one, and I'm gonna keep both of them for my personal collection. Just a great moment to remember those and have them physically there. So let's keep it going. My son wants to, I think he wants to go outside now. He likes to go outside. He don't like staying inside the house all day. So let's see. Raining Venus are in a nine. Ugh, don't want to see that. All right, we got some Japanese cards coming here. What could they be? What could they be? Let's see. Is this my buddies? Yes. It's the Osaka DX opening. The Pretend Comedian Pikachu, PSA 10. Really nice card. He picked this up when he was in Japan a few months ago. I think it was the beginning of the year. 
really great car for him. Can't complain with that. Right, what is this? More Japanese car. Let's see what it is. Oh, I think these are uh, the Master Balls. Nothing crazy, but still a hit only. PSA 10 Master Ball. It's nice. Hey. Ugh, Himochen got the nine. No. That's a that's a loss right there. But it is what it is. Alright, then so this should be the uh Kabutox. Yeah, the boot yeah, the Kabutops, PSA ten. Alright, it's a nine, it goes over there. Man, 151 is just going down so much. Uh throughout the car show yesterday, the over the weekend. The the front wheel. For a few weeks back, everyone was just selling everything. They just didn't want it. They were, who knows how it's gonna go? Pretty much, everybody was panicking. They were selling their their Ross, their their, their like Charizards, their Blastoise, their Master Balls. They didn't really want them. I picked some up at a pretty decent price. Hopefully, I didn't get burned. I did end up selling them later on throughout the day. I did have like one or two that I might grade myself, like a Bubbles or Master Ball stuff like that. So let's keep it going though. Those boxes are pretty cheap. Right? I think you can get like a case for. Well, the time of recording is like under a thousand dollars for a case, so we'll see how that turns out. Let's see what this is. Ooh, Lance's Charizard V PSA 10. Nice card to have. Popular Pokemon. Let's see what this one is. Stark Sylveon V PSA 10. Is this another one? No, we got the nine. All right, I think like five more laps go. This is a birthday Pikachu PSA 10. Sold a couple of these over the weekend over that promo car show in Vegas. My son this might get a little sleepy now. Alright, let's finish it off. Alright, this is a Zekrom from Celebration PSA 10 2. Look at that. Ooh. Zekrom, you can see him there. And then he gets hit him with all the sparklies, and then you see him again. Kind of hard to see because it's a dark card. Alright, last three cards. Shouldn't be no more real spicy here. Ooh, the Crazy V Max, the Trainer Gallery from Super Tempest. Black, green, and gold. Looks really nice. Really sick. Then, let's see. Mm, ooh, the Hidden Fates Elite Trainer promo of the Bird Trio. That was a nine. No bueno. It is what it is, though. Alright, last card should be another one of these promos, then. Let's finish it off with a 10. Come on, guy, let's do it. Oh, yeah, PSA 10. Love to see. I want to grade more of these. I do have more ETBs that are going to be breaking down. Sell the packs, the single packs, and grade the promos. Promos do relatively well in shows. So, and overall, these are not mine. So, I'm not counting these. These are also nines and eight are not mine. So, I'm not going to count those. Uh, so, let's say this. I know this was had no shot at getting a 10. Same thing with the Houndoom, same thing with the Raikou. So I'm not gonna count those for the overall grade. I'm going to try to count all these because I knew, I probably hoped you have for a shot. So, all right. So I had a 50 card, here it is. Let me see, five, 10, 11 cards are not mine. So that's, no, 39, 39, so out of 39, we're gonna take off three more, so 36, 36, so out of 36 cards, 36 cards, only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards didn't hit the 10, because I, the, oh, these were the ones that hoping to get 10s, uh, 36 cards, 36 cards, 7, then you get the 10, which means 20, no, 20, yeah, 29 cards did hit the 10s. So that's pretty good. Pretty great overall selection. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Make sure with everything. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10. Let me see. Get the stash real quick. Uh, five. 
So yeah, 29 cards did hit the tens. No, 29? Yeah, 29 cards did hit tens. Seven didn't get ten that I was hoping would get tens. And like the rest, like these three, I know were had no shot of getting tens. I was pretty much just just slap them up. The other cards were my buddy. So pretty great overall. Only six out of what? 36 cards didn't hit the tens. 29 did get tens. So it's pretty good overall. Can't complain. We do got some nice cards. Mainly the Charizards. We got that. We got what well, the shiny fates one. We got the champion path one, rainbow. And then you do have the Charizard from 151. Pretty nice personal card. The shining Rayquaza from Shining Legends. Pretty cool. But yep, that's all for now. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I have a, another show, the Pasadena show, in a couple of weeks, maybe a week or two in Pasadena so that's gonna be fun hopefully I have some more submissions coming in before then and I'll catch you guys in the next one let me know what you think in the in the in the, uh, in the comments let me know if you're doing if you're attending any shows yourself or which ones you are attending how are they for you how, how's the vibe in general how's how's the Pokemon hobby in general collecting hobby for you is it waning are you getting bored of it are you getting excited are you feel like it's dying out because there, there is some time where i do feel like hey man is, is the pokemon market dying out or is it i'm not paying attention as much or or am i too in tune with it or whatnot but then when i do a look one of these car shows it just just fills me up with more inspiration it just makes me feel like yeah the, the hobby in general is just doing well it's doing good all these people are coming to these shows and then these shows are, are filling up selling out they're, they're all the they have big waiting lists for people for vendors to try to get a spot and they're full so just every time i just do the show it just makes me reaffirms that the hobby is doing well reaffirms that i'm doing good with selling with these vending collecting uh and going to these shows and selling and you know just having a great time with people with the customers with the audience and everything the attendees but yeah just let me know what you think let me know what you think your overall sentiment in the hobby is and yeah i'll catch you guys on the next one bye Tell them bye. Bye.